On today's Tim Talk, I set out to answer the question, how are meteorologists able to determine the wind speed of a hurricane or a tropical storm that's out in the middle of the ocean? That's a very valid question, and for that answer, we look up, way up, into space. We use satellites, the same satellites that give us that bird's eye view of storms developing in the middle of the wide open ocean, are also equipped with instrumentation to tell us what the winds are like in some of those storms. That instrumentation is called a microwave scatterometer. And what this does is it emits microwaves and measures the reflection and the scattering off of the ripples on the ocean. So if the storm is stronger, the ripples will be more widespread, more intense. So it beams off those. And from that, we can determine the surface winds that are calculated with a specific algorithm. Now remember, out in the middle of the ocean, there are no ground-based observations. There are very few buoys, especially well away from the coastline. So we were rely on these satellite observations. But this isn't the only weapon in our arsenal to determine the wind speeds. We have aircraft, and I'm sure you've heard of the Hurricane Hunters. It's operated by the U.S. Air Force Reserve, the 53rd Weather Recon Squadron that's out of Keesler Air Force Base. Now, there are 10 full-time, 10 part-time crews, and they are tasked with flying into developing or already developed tropical storms or hurricanes to get some very critical data. They deploy sensors into those storms, and all of that data is put into our computer models, and that helps us meteorologists forecast the storm more accurately. Of course, there's also other aircraft operated by NOAA, high-altitude aircraft called the Gulf Stream 4, and this flies well above developing storms or already developed hurricanes and tropical storms. And it flies in a pattern to determine the intensity of the storm using tail Doppler radar. It also deploys something called drop sons. And these are little pieces, little instruments that fall from the aircraft. Hurricane hunters drop these. Also, all aircraft pretty much drop these. And they get temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, and wind speed as it descends to the surface of the ocean or if it's over land to, towards the Earth's surface there. There's also a little lower altitude aircraft called the WP-3D Orion, its counterpart. It's called Miss Piggy. This one is named Kermit. That also deploys drop wind sounds. These have dual radar systems in the tail and the lower fuselage. And when you combine those, you almost get an MRI scan of the storm. These are also equipped with those microwave scatterometers that are on satellites. They're also on aircraft. So it does get a good sense of the wind speed there. And that, my friends, is how we know how fast the winds are of a storm in the middle of the open ocean.